I'm Tyler, Blank Forms. We're in Brooklyn, New York, in my home studio. I come from a, a, a background of acoustic composition, like writing music for jazz musicians and classical musicians. And so I kind of feel like I still am doing that, but I'm just composing for tapes and analog gear and synthesizers and all that. It's sort of the same perspective, but now I have all these devices. So it's a meeting of the two worlds. It's the best way I can describe it. The way it started was I was in band in middle school and high school playing the trumpet and I got really into Miles Davis. I just kind of randomly bought a Miles Davis record and so I copied all of what Miles was doing and just became so obsessed with it and performed it and had a super good time performing and basically just that day my brain just said, oh, you're going to be a musician. This is what you're going to do. I started messing around with live improvisation with inputs, like having musicians play into my system and I would cut and chop it in the moment and we would improvise and perform. So that's what I was doing when I first moved to New York. And at some point started to mess around with tape and as soon as I found tape, it was just sort of another like, oh, this is what I'm gonna do. And it's, it's been an obsession ever since. The combination of what you put on tape and how the tape presents it is just, at least to me, magical. I kind of see it like being a chef in a way, like you don't want to like mess with the food too much. You want to know just how to like boost it a bit and then just let it present itself. On the way in, recording on the mic and on the way out, I kind of just want like clarity, just like nothing shaded in any direction, just honesty. Cause like this part is going to add so much character that I don't need character on, on either side, just need the truth. They were my first pair of like really serious monitors. So sort of the first thing I experienced was just like a clarity and honesty from them because all of a sudden many things that I thought before in mixing had been like these challenges that required either incredible skill or like incredible plugins or some sort of hardware I didn't have. With these, all of a sudden, I was just hearing it. I was like, oh, that frequency is obviously too loud. I just need to put a dip right there. And it would fix the problem. And it wasn't some sort of skill I didn't have. I just couldn't hear the stuff before that. <laughs> 